Good afternoon. See a few people. Maybe it's working. Now it's all glary. Oh, there we go. I gotta stay back. God bless you. A blessed Monday. We are gonna pray the rosary and prayers to the Holy Spirit. So you have just a minute to get your coffee because I'm still drinking coffee. I'm definitely drinking coffee. And your rosary and we're gonna pray. I'm sorry I'm a little later today. I didn't get back till well after midnight last night. And I was exhausted from the weekend. I have quite a challenging job that takes every ounce of me. And I woke up with a terrible migraine, so I had to just kind of get resettled here before I went live. But I still wanted to be sure to pray with you, and the day is yet young. I hope and pray that you all had a blessed Corpus Christi. And a blessed Father's Day. Since I wasn't able to pray a live rosary yesterday with you, we can include our intentions today for all fathers. For your fathers, for those who are spiritual fathers or father figures in your lives. And we pray for the grace for a greater holiness in the vocation of fatherhood in the world, right? We pray for new fathers, those who are trying to figure out their way. And we pray for those who've lost their fathers, those who really felt that absence yesterday and every day, right? We pray that the Lord may bring the comfort of his own fatherly love into their hearts and their lives. Sometimes when you're missing something in life, you realize, or you should realize, that what you're missing is really a reflection of God himself. You know, when you feel that absence of your father, then you know, we have the gift of being able to turn to God, who's our father. Anything that is good and holy in our earthly father is a reflection of God the father, right? Same as with our mother. When you feel the absence of a mother in your life, you know, it just should draw you all the more to our lady. Anything good and holy in your mother is a reflection of her perfection, of of what God intended for motherhood, right? There are many parishes where people are really struggling as, you know, priests change, and sometimes there's a, even an absence for a while, and there's such a longing for a, a physical um, presence of a spiritual father. It's like, it's a sort of death when either a priest is removed, or sometimes, sadly, they turn away from you. But we pray for those people to turn all the more to Jesus, who is the eternal high priest. Who can fill in that gap in their hearts. We continue to pray for all of the intentions on all of these pages, all of your personal intentions. There's so many and all of the intentions throughout the world. I ask for continued prayer. I saw I had an email from Nigeria that another Christian was killed. I didn't get to look at it. So I don't know if it was a priest, a sister, or a lay person. But we continue to pray for the situation there and for those who are killed for their faith, for our work in Nigeria, for funds to be able to continue that work. And the same thing for the Middle East, for Pakistan and Afghanistan, for Colombia and Mexico, for continued 
donations for our cloistered sisters. I still need about $700 for the postage for these books for their convents. And then to be able to print my newest book, House of Gold in Pakistan is the next thing. Um, my translator finished the translation so quickly. And um, there is such a, a, a hidden underground explosion of grace in the Middle East from these books due to your prayer and your financial help to help us print and distribute them. 100% goes to printing. And like, I don't even pay the people who distribute them. I mean, it's literally just for the physical material. Everybody who works with me from translators down to those other people on the ground, they all volunteer. Just like all of my time is volunteered. So we ask for some miracles today for just, a, it'd just be nice if we could continually get funds through this Fiat Foundation, right? There's so much work that needs to be done that I just can't do alone. We pray for um, all those who are ill. I read of a mother whose cancer may be back, whose heart is really broken, that she could die and leave her very small children motherless. We pray for her to be completely healed. We pray for um, Levi and Charlie and Liam and Jonathan and those with Alzheimer's, those with addictions, those expecting babies, those who are longing to conceive, those who've lost children. For peace in the Ukraine, for the conversion of Russia, for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, for an end to abortion, a conversion of the United States, of the government, for a reversal of Roe v. Wade, and for peace throughout our land, for the conversion of the hearts who are so vile against God and his commands. We pray for strengthening of bishops and clergy to be more faithful, to continue on the path of courage when they've spoke out about things and have been condemned. We ask for the Lord to raise up warriors of truth in the church and to quietly remove those who look more at human um, opinion than God's teachings, right? We pray for all priests, and on Mondays we always pray for the gifts of humility and forgiveness, and we pray for our families. For I didn't get to see my family yesterday, but um, yesterday a lot of families gather and here for the 4th of July. They're going to gather. I don't want to cover up my beautiful icon here of Our Lady. So the coffee cup will go by the statue of the Holy Family. Okay, so let's go. Let's pray. And we'll pray, of course, like I said, for all of your intentions too. And all the intentions the Lord has for us that we might not be thinking of. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, and for our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen to you this day. My eyes, very strange, that, that disconnected, sorry. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you, and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
for Pope Francis, the cardinals, archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them, for their physical and spiritual protection, for their intentions, for their continued conversion, for humility and integrity, for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage, fortitude, mercy, truth, and love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. And in this mystery, when the angel came to Our Lady, she said, Hail, he said, you, look, see right here, this beautiful icon, right? You have the Holy Spirit coming to Our Lady, and she's knitting. She's doing something very ordinary in the world. And the Holy Spirit comes, and he is knitting the Word of God made flesh within the womb of Our Lady, right? So it's beautiful. I didn't even think of that. You can look at this icon as we pray. And the angel comes and he says, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. So Our Lady was already full of the Holy Spirit, full of grace, full of God. And yet the angel said that the Holy Spirit will come upon you and then you will conceive. Which means in that moment of her saying yes to God, her heart was enlarged, her body in some ways, to, to hold the Holy Spirit in a more powerful, more a larger way than she had before. But she was already full of him, which means she just needed her heart to expand. And how did that happen? Through her learning what the will of God was and saying fiat, saying yes, saying I will obey. I want the will of God. I am his handmaiden. I've been thinking a lot about obedience. I guess when you work with small children who don't want to obey, <laughs> you think a lot about it, right? And I found myself this weekend a few times when the children either wouldn't listen to me and then they got hurt or they hurt me, right? Because they weren't listening. I heard myself saying, well, this is what happens when you don't obey. When you don't obey, you get hurt, right? It's the result. And... Um, you know, rules are given to us by God and his, not just rules like do this, don't do this, but like the rule of what he created us to be, like the plan of our life to keep us safe, to make us happy. When we say I won't obey, when we do the opposite of this fiat, right, then we get hurt. Then the world falls apart. So Our Lady, by saying yes, fiat, was not only allowing the incarnation to take place within her, but she was giving a place on earth for God's will to be done that made the entire earth a safer, healthier, happier place. And the same happens for you and me. When we say yes to God, our hearts are enlarged. And the Holy Spirit is a greater place on earth to dwell. And the fruit of that is holiness, is, is happiness, right? And like I said, you see that with little children. So somebody wants to ride a scooter down cement stairs. You say no. <laughs> they get angry. They, you know, they scream back no. They throw the scooter and it cuts open your foot. And they run off and they trip on the cement and they get hurt, right? Why? That's all because of the no. 
But what would happen if somebody asked a child, which children don't really understand all this, but you know, can I do this? And you say no, then they would gently put the scooter aside, come down the stairs and through that obedience, nobody's hurt, right? Disobedience causes hurt. So in this mystery, we're going to reflect on Our Lady's obedience, her fiat to the Holy Spirit, and how that's a source of healing and of joy and of peace in this world. And we ask the Holy Spirit to come on us more profoundly. Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who is equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. The Annunciation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the immaculate heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. And I have a beautiful icon you can't see here above of Our Lady bringing the Holy Spirit present within her womb in Jesus's little infant heart to St. Elizabeth, who was also expecting a baby. 
And at the moment that Our Lady spoke, the Holy Spirit went from her voice to Elizabeth into her womb and baptized John the Baptist. Just incredible. Our Lady was not just like a container of the Holy Spirit, but she was like a portal where the Holy Spirit came through all of her senses to everyone around her. In this mystery, we're going to pray that we may always be a portal of the Holy Spirit, that Jesus and his Eucharistic love, which makes him incarnate in us, may dwell within us and flow out from us to everyone around us, an ordinary life, that every footstep, every breath, every word, every look, every touch, every encounter that people have with us may be a blessing of the Holy Spirit upon them. Holy Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of grace and prayer, pray for, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us. The visitation of Our Lady to Elizabeth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavian Natimia Stajonami, I Blagoslavian Plodshareva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria Mater Boja Malisa Naskrishni, Nini v Chasmirti Nashi Amen, Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabon, Bogoslaviona Shtimian Zenevastami, I Bogoslavioni Ovot Shivota Tvayego Jesus, Shventa Maria Matka Boja, Mudal Shizanami Kshishnini, Terasiv Gojina I Shmirchina, she amen Spanish, Dios de Salve Maria, Yena de Ste Grazia, El Senor es Contigo, Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor Jesu. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave Maria, Gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagadati polnaya, gaspod staboi, blagoslavian natimia, stajonami, i blagoslavian plodshareva, tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Grishni, Nini Vchas Mirtina, she amen, Polish. Strovash Maria, Waski Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoslaviona Shtimian Zenevastami, I Bogoslavioni Ova, Shevota Tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria, Mat Kaboja, Mudal Shizanami Kshishnemi, Terra Sivgojina, I Shmirjina, she amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedetta fra le donne, i benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. 
benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third joyful mystery is the birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. In this mystery, let's reflect on this icon of Our Lady Star of the Sea. It's funny, I'm sitting here. I did it out of pure laziness. My other altar, I still have the angels set up from last week, Tuesday. I've just been so busy. And I thought, I don't want to move them all and move them all back tomorrow. So I sat here. But look at how this is so beautiful. How this is all the mysteries that we're praying. Right? And Our Lady Star of the Sea. This is a beautiful icon for the birth of Jesus. Because here's an image of Jesus as an infant on the cross. When Jesus was born, he was born into suffering. He was born as the Redeemer. And he was born to save us and in a world that was so broken, even without the grace of the incarnation yet, right? Because it hadn't happened. So there was less grace in some way than there is for us now. Now we have the sacraments, we have Jesus's Eucharistic presence, we have confession. But the world that he was born into didn't even have those graces. And so he was crucified, even as a baby. He was rejected from the ends. He had to flee into Egypt. His life was sought. He was born into poverty, utter, utter poverty. And Our Lady, excuse me, Our Lady held him as a treasure. And because he, she was single-hearted in that, she was single-hearted. And so her only treasure was Jesus, even crucified. His entire radiance of divine love came forth from her so powerfully that she's presented here as a star, right? She's our star. She's our morning star. She is a sign of hope in this world so broken. She is the star of the sea. And you see here the waves, the horrible storm, and the waves have red on them because it's, a, it's an ocean of mercy that's coming forth from his heart. And yet it's into a world that's broken. And that's where all the waves and turbulence comes from, right? And here we are on this ship. The ship of the church, really. And we're being torn and thrown away, right? And we're being, there's suffering. Look at the, the murders in Nigeria right now. So many murders of Christians. And the answer to healing came in Bethlehem, came in this infant baby, the baby Jesus crucified. And from his heart comes blood and water, which heals. St. Paul said that peace comes through the blood of his cross. And ironically, when we put everything in its proper place, when Jesus crucified is in the center of our hearts and our lives, his mercy radiates from us. And we don't become red or dark, even though this mystery of his crucified love is dark. Instead, we become a light, a star like Our Lady. We take his suffering to ourselves and he pours forth divine light and radiance from us into the world. Look at the mystery of Bethlehem. He was born into poverty and darkness and rejection. And what did the shepherds experience? 
So what did the three wise men experience? A star that led them. Angels that lit up the sky with their glories to God in the highest. And this, all of this work and this mystery, and the transformation of his suffering into a radiant light of love is a work of the Holy Spirit. So we're going to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to enter our hearts and our lives even more to help us have right order in our lives that Jesus crucified, his humility and poverty as a baby becomes the actual center treasure of our whole existence, more important than your husbands and wives and children even, more important than this great work you're doing for him. Like think of the things that are even good things to love, right? Jesus, baby Jesus crucified, has to be more important. Sometimes when you meet people who are outside the church, they're trying to reach with God, but they don't understand. And so somebody will die and they'll like pray to their grandma, you know, to give them strength, which their grandma can pray for them, but they forget about Jesus. Like all they need to do is ask Jesus, their creator, who loves them more than their grandma. Yeah, ask your grandma to be with you. Pray for your grandma. But lean on Jesus. No other human being can be your crutch, alive or dead, right, after they've died. Jesus has to be the treasure. Jesus. And then all those other relationships actually become better. So in this mystery, let's pray that we have right order in all of our lives. And that because of that, Jesus may radiate his divine love out like he did at Bethlehem to everyone around us. And give peace to this broken world. Holy Spirit, the comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the church, have mercy on us. Gift of God the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth joyful mystery right, is the presentation in the temple. And yet, we're going to continue to meditate on that infant crucified Christ. You can look at this image here behind me, and you can see it in this one as well, but it's not as clear because it's small. But Jesus came as the Savior, and Our Lady, even though she always comes so beautiful radiating such love, she suffered the same way that Jesus suffered. In the presentation in the temple, Simeon, um, the priest that took baby Jesus in his arms, prophesied over him and said, this child is to be for the fall and the rise of many, a sign to be contradicted, right? Think about how Jesus came to give life and people who even claim and use his name to get ahead. They say, I'm Catholic, so Catholics like them. But then they murder babies, right? It's a sign that's contradicted, and it will be their fall. When they say that they're for Jesus, and then they promote abortion, they will fall even farther from God, deeper into hell eventually if they don't repent, than if they didn't come up against him and use his name, right? It's a greater sacrilege. That's an extreme example. But think about the little ways that Jesus is for the rise and the fall of others, right? He says, don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal. And then people do that secretly at work or they do it within their family. And this causes suffering to Jesus. He doesn't enjoy telling you what's right and then watching you disobey. It causes him pain because, like I said before about disobedience, it hurts us. When I tell a child, don't ride your scooter down cement stairs, and they disobey and they throw that, and I'm hurt, right? I, my foot got cut open. But then they get hurt. They trip. They fall. And it's their own fault for disobeying. My heart still bleeds for them. And then they throw a fit that they're hurt and my heart bleeds that they don't have peace, even though it's their fault. Jesus is the same way with us. He says, I'm giving you the gift of life and you go and get angry. This is my body and you have an abortion. And then you get angry and say, how can God allow me to suffer so much from my abortion? Well, he told you not to do it, right? <laughs> and it go, go on and on and on. Jesus says, forgive. And you say, I'm not forgiving that person. Why am I so miserable? Because you can't forgive. So Jesus is, is that sign to be contradicted for the rise and the fall of many because unless we succumb to his goodness, we're not good. And if we're not good, we're not happy. We need to humble ourselves. And that suffering that he, he continues to suffer to make us good. And Simeon says, you yourself, to his mother, a sword will pierce so the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. Our lady loved Jesus and she loves us because Jesus loves us. And so she suffers to see Jesus suffer 
Just like my mom would feel bad for me to have a bloody foot because the little kid I'm taking care of won't listen and cut my foot open, <laughs> right? My mom would feel bad for me, but my mom would also feel bad for her, for the little girl who did that. Because even though she, it's her fault, she's miserable and you can't help but pitying a person like that, right? There's so much reflected in the life of children that is true with us as children of God. So our lady pities Jesus who's suffering on account of our sin. But she also pities us who suffer on account of our sin. Because she doesn't want us to sin because she wants us happy. So much love is contained in that heart of our lady. In that mystery of her pierced heart. In this mystery, we just pray that our hearts may be conformed like unto hers so that we can love Jesus to the same degree as she did so that we can suffer when he suffers and so that we also love those who he loves with that same love. Holy Spirit, inspire us with a horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasures of thy grace. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radiusia Maria. Blagadati polnaya gaspod staboyu. Blagaslavian na tinyej de jonami. I blagaslavian plucereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, ma terboja, malisa nas grishni. Nini vchas mirdinashi amen. Polish. Sturovash Maria, waski pauna pan stabom, bogoswavio nashtimians and evastami, i bogoswavio ni ovot shivota tvaego jesus, shventa Maria matka boja, mudal shizanami kshishnimi, terasiv gojina ishmirchina shi amen, Spanish. Dios de salve Maria, yena reis de gracia el senores contigo, bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, Y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedicta fra la donne, y benedicto el fruto del tu Señor Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega por nosotros pecadores, Adesso na lora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagadati polnaya, gaspod staboyu. Blagoslavien na tinyej de jonami, i blagoslavien plodšreva tvajevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boža, malisa nas grešni, nini včas mir dinaši amen, Polish. Strovaš Maria, vaski pauna pahan stabo, bogoslavio naš tinyen za nevestami, i bogoslavio ni ovo čevota tvajego Jezus. Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Mural Shizanami Gzishnimi, Terasif Gojina i Shmirchina Shi Amen, Spanish. Dios de Salve Maria, Yena Reis de Gracia, El Señores Contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores. Ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta, fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores. Adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. 
Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding in the temple. And it comes to mind again, that idea about thirst. The thirst that Jesus had to be in his father's house. The thirst of the priests for understanding. So much so that they received this explanation of the scriptures from a child. And the thirst in Mary and Joseph's heart when they lost Jesus to search for him. The problem with the world is people don't thirst. They've made themselves numb with like video games and TV and superficiality. If you don't thirst for God, if you don't thirst for the good, the true, and the beautiful, then you won't be able to find the right way to heaven. So in this mystery, let's pray for those who've lost their thirst. Let's pray for those who need a conversion of heart, which is really all of us, right? Each one of us can thirst better and more for God than we do. But let's pray that we thirst to be in the Father's house like Jesus. That we thirst for knowledge and understanding of him and his ways like those priests that we thirst for him as our treasure, like Mary and Joseph who didn't rest for three days, that they were willing to give everything up. They left their family and came back to Jerusalem to search, that you're willing even to give up your family if asked for by God. To thirst for him and his will and to fulfill it regardless of the cost. So often people pick and choose. They say, oh, I love God's will. Oh, God wants me to be friends. So I'm going to be friends with this person, but this person might hurt my reputation. So I'm going to throw them away, right? Well, God wants you to thirst for his will. And there may be certain gifts that only you can receive from that other person. Maybe you need to grow in humility and virtue to stand by what's right, and to trust God. You know, people say, I want God's will, and so I'm going to do this and this, but oh, that's not God's will. Why? Because I don't want it. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes God's voice is, is a loud parent's voice that's really trying to correct us, to prune us, to change our desires so that they're not so fallen. You know, sometimes people outright reject God and sometimes they just pretend that they love him, but they close their hearts to certain aspects of his will because it's inconvenient. It might hurt their job or something. (laughs) So in this mystery, let's pray for an integrity of heart, right? We always pray for that for the bishop's hierarchy of the church. If you're not true to yourself and true to who God has asked you to be, then nothing else matters. It's one of the greatest values that I respect in other people is when they have integrity, right? That they act like they speak. So let's pray that we may do that. We may have that. That we thirst for God and that we can inspire that thirst in others 
and that we live a life of, of authenticity and of integrity. And we ask the Holy Spirit for all of this. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with your heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merit of all virtue. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven. Help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exiles, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known 
that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O princes of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here. Ever this day be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward. In the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, and the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors. In the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me, from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets and black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness, and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague, against drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, against misunderstanding and confusion, fear and worry, greed, disobedience, disrespect, and profanity, against jealousy, competition, blocking, division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness, and pride, against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and against every evil that could come against me so that there may come to me an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me. Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, 
Jesus Christ, when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And we pray for the souls that have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home, and within our own family. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosoms shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcomed guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of thine, and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew, wash the stains of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore, in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue's sure reward, give them your salvation, Lord, give them joy that never ends consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul, and you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus, looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Prayers for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, promised to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you and I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge that I may know God, know myself, and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. The spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence toward God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. St. Augustine's Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, Holy Spirit, that all my thoughts may be holy. Move in me, Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Attract my heart, Holy Spirit, that I may love only what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend all that is holy. Protect me, Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. St. Alphonsus Liguori's Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, divine consoler, I adore you as my true God, 
with God the Father and the Son. I adore you and unite myself to the adoration you receive from the angels and saints. I give you my heart and I offer my ardent thanksgiving for all the grace which you never cease to bestow on me. O giver of all supernatural gifts, who filled the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with such immense favors, I beg you to visit me with your grace and your love and to grant me the gift of holy fear so that it may act on me as a check to prevent me from falling back into my past sins for which I beg pardon. Grant me the gift of piety so that I may serve you for the future with increased fervor, follow with more promptness your holy inspirations, and observe your divine precepts with greater fidelity. Grant me the spirit of knowledge that I may know the things of God and enlightened by your holy teaching may walk without deviation in the path of eternal salvation. Grant me the gift of fortitude, that I may overcome courageously all the assaults of the devil and all the dangers of this world which threaten the salvation of my soul. Grant me the gift of counsel, so that I may choose what is more conductive to my spiritual advancement and may discover the wiles and snares of the tempter. Grant me the gift of understanding, so that I may apprehend the divine mysteries and by contemplation of heavenly things, detach my thoughts and affections from the vain things of this miserable world. Grant me the gift of wisdom, so that I may rightly direct all of my actions, referring them to God as my last end, so that having loved him and served him in this life, I may have the happiness of possessing him eternally in the next. A Prayer to the Holy Spirit by Cardinal Mercier. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, and console me. Tell me what I should do and give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. And prayer for the help of the Holy Spirit by St. Anthony of Padua. O God, send forth your Holy Spirit into my heart so that I may perceive into my mind that I may remember, and into my soul that I may meditate. Inspire me to speak with piety, holiness, tenderness, and mercy. Teach, guide, and direct my thoughts and senses from the beginning to the end. May your grace ever help and correct me, and may I be strengthened now with wisdom from on high for the sake of your infinite mercy. Amen. And at the end, I want to pray the litany of Our Lady of Consolation, St. Monica and St. Augustine, specifically for those who we know who need conversion and for the mothers who sorrow over the conversion of their children, right? For the parents who suffer. Lord of mercy on us, Christ of mercy on us, Lord of mercy on us. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, of mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, of mercy on us. God, the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Mary, our Mother and Mother of Jesus, pray for us. Mary, our Mother of Consolation, pray for us. Mary, the source of our hope, pray for us. Mary, the refuge of sinners, pray for us. Mary, the guiding star of our lives, pray for us. Mary, source of strength in our weakness, pray for us. Mary, source of light in our darkness, pray for us. Mary, source of consolation in our sorrow, pray for us. Mary, source of victory in our temptations, pray for us. Mary, who leads us to Jesus, pray for us. Mary, who keeps us with Jesus, pray for us. Mary, who redeems us through Jesus, pray for us. Mary, mother of consolation and our patroness, pray for us. St. Augustine, triumph of divine grace, pray for us. St. Augustine, so faithful to grace, pray for us. St. Augustine, glowing with pure love of God, pray for us. St. Augustine, filled with zeal for God's glory, pray for us. St. Augustine, bright star in the firmament of the church, pray for us. St. Augustine, so great and so humble, pray for us. St. Augustine, dauntless defender of the faith, pray for us. St. Augustine, vanquisher of heresy, pray for us. St. Augustine, Prince of Bishops and Doctors, pray for us. St. Augustine, our Father, pray for us. St. Monica, Devout Mother of St. Augustine, pray for us. St. Monica, whose prayers won Augustine from sin, pray for, pray for us. 
Saint Monica, whose prayers gave Augustine to God, pray for us. Saint Monica, pattern of wives, pray for us. Saint Monica, mother, model of mothers and mother of saints, pray for us. Saint Monica, exemplar of widows, pray for us. Saint Monica, devoted to prayer, pray for us. Saint Monica, patient in trial, pray for us. Saint Monica, resigned in sorrow, pray for us. Saint Monica, happy in death, pray for us. Saint Monica, devoted child of Mary, mother of consolation, pray for us. Saint Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of Consolation, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pray for us, O Father, St. Augustine, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pray for us, O Holy Saint Mother, Mother St. Monica, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercies and God of all consolation, grant propitiously to thy servants that joyfully venerating thy most pure mother Mary as our lady of consolation, we may be consoled by her in sorrow, fortified in our trials through life, and in dying may merit the ineffable consolations of heaven for all eternity, amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, pray for us. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, pray for us. Timothy and Titus, Barnabas and Matthias, pray for us. Jude and Rita, pray for us. Francis de Sales and Jane de Chantel, pray for us. Francis and Claire, pray for us. Benedict and Scholastica, pray for us. Martin de Porras and Rose of Lima, pray for us. St. Therese of Lisieux, Teresa of Avila, John of the Cross, pray for us. St. Vincent Strombi, pray for us. Gemma Gilgani and Zita, pray for us. Miriam the Little Arab and Bakita, pray for us. Elizabeth of Hungary and Elizabeth of the Trinity and Elizabeth of Portugal, pray for us. All you holy angels, pray for us. St. Xenia, pray for us. All of you holy martyrs, pray for us. And all of you holy saints, pray for us. St. Edith Stein, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you. What a blessed thing to pray with you all. Um, I will be back tomorrow. People said they'd pray for my foot. They felt bad. It really, it's fine. I just, I think the toenail got ripped off, but <laughs> it'll be fine. I covered it all up and I'm not even looking. So um, uh, I will be back tomorrow and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday actually this week. So that's awesome. And we'll see you about Friday. God be with you. Bye.